Hi everyone, welcome back to the Reddit Drama Channel with another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoy it. Also, please click the notification bell so you won't miss when another cheating story goes live. These simple clicks mean a lot to our channel, and thank you for your support. I thought the news about cancer was the most heartbreaking turns out she was. She is 18 and a new incoming freshman in college. I am 21 and in my third year. We started talking a couple of weeks before classes started and hit it off really well. We ended up meeting after I moved back to my apartment and started dating shortly after. I asked her out and made it official. For those who are into the Myers-Briggs personality profile she was an INTP and I am an INTJ. Like they say those two can be in a relationship and it does not feel like a relationship. That is exactly how it was. There was little intimacy, because I felt she was closing herself off and not letting herself be vulnerable. She didn't go into the details but she was hurt before me. She would spend every day with me after classes. We would go out on dates and I would take her out to eat. Twice she mentioned a guy flirting with her in class. She told me not to worry about it, so I didn't. I am a little too trusting I suppose. We had a little debate I guess because I thought she was belittling me and I apologized for it later. The next day she told me that she had to go get me something for my birthday and that she would spend the day with me Saturday. Well Saturday came and I barely heard anything from her. I was a little bummed but it was whatever. She texted me once and said she was with her mom so I didn't think much about it. She didn't talk to me for the rest of the day and that night she texted me saying she was depressed and wanted to die. Can't say I am not used to this because for some reason crazy girls seem to be the only ones who like me. This continued. Barely talking to me, making excuses, and hinting around about this guy that she told me about. My birthday was that Tuesday. I got a happy birthday text as soon as it turned 12. That night she told me that she had been in the ER and they think she might have a type of nerve cancer. I figured maybe this was what was going on and explained the distance, and depression. Said she would get the results Wednesday. I told her I would actually be there for her no matter what the results were. Well Wednesday came and I asked what they said. She told me that she was at the university cafe. She is a commuter so I knew she had to be with someone there. I went down there because it is like a block away from my apartment and waited for her to come out. She walks out with this guy that she had been talking about prior. I kinda knew it was what was going on but wanted to confront her because she was going short with me and not answering my phone calls. The conversation was short and she said it was because I made her feel bad and wasn't very loving. She said that what she said about the cancer was true and she didn't tell this new guy. She only told me and her best friends. She said that they weren't dating and he was just a friend with benefits or something. I basically said I was done with her and left. She later told me that she did have cancer and had to take it out or she would have a year. This next week she has texted me on and off. I am pretty sure that she has been with him every day but sending me texts as well. Today she finally told me that she missed me. I have hinted that she could make it better if she put in the effort. That would involve stopping being around him obviously. She told me that he makes her feel better about herself and is more complimentary. Neither me nor her were that way. I think it was just the attention that he was giving her and possibly the stress of what is going on. I am not making that excuse for her but would maybe accept it if she came out and said it. I just don't know what to do. I just want to be at peace of mind with whatever is best. Here are some of the best comments from our community. The cancer thing is what draws you to talk to her. I don't mean to sound harsh, but even if she does have cancer, that's none of your concern. She cheated on you, what makes you think she won't do it again? If she won't even leave the other guy for you, I don't think she truly misses you. Get over her, and leave her be. Just don't talk to her, and ignore text. Definitely don't worry about the cancer, just dump her. I think blaming you makes it even worse. In my opinion if that they don't know what they want really means that they don't want you but feel bad actually being honest about it. Either you're someone's first priority, or forget about it. Here is the second story. I think that my girlfriend cheated on me and masked it with an open relationship. Let me begin by saying that I definitely wasn't a perfect boyfriend. I'm not the most positive person around, and not that keen to spend money on short experiences, things like cinema tickets, food, etc. I've improved my behavior over time but I still have a lot of work to do especially when it comes to my overall negativity. My ex and I have been together for almost 5 years, since April 2017, and had no serious conflicts at any point. 
We didn't share that many common interests, but we liked each other's company and were pretty compatible in bed. We've lived a few kilometers away from each other during the most part of our relationship, meaning we were able to see each other pretty often. She moved to another city across the country in September 2020 for her studies, while I stayed behind. We kept seeing each other for a week every other month, either when she visited her parents or when I visited her place. I planned to join her there, but she started having doubts about me moving in with her in mid-2021. In early 2021, she asked me if I was interested in an open relationship. I was fine with it as long as there was nothing romantic involved with other people, and as long as she kept me informed of what she was doing. The first and only person she told me about was one of her classmates who we'll call Teddy. I then had to allow her to see other people without informing me because she randomly told me during a phone call that she had already done so. A few weeks slash months later, she asked me if I was okay with her trying romantic relationships with other people and then if I was interested in non-monogamy. I wasn't okay with either, but felt like refusing meant ending our relationship. When I asked her after she dumped me, I was told she didn't have any romantic relationships with anyone else. I last visited her place in September for two weeks, to see if living together was manageable. She asked me to bring items, I brought two consoles, only to then tell me she was considering breaking up. I was shocked and didn't say much apart from that I wanted to stay with her. She later apologized and I ended up leaving the consoles there due to mixed signals. When she visited her parents in December, I only got to see her for a few hours during which she told me she was dumping me and didn't want any more intimacy between us. She told me it wasn't my fault but hers. The many reasons she gave me were inconsistent and somewhat contradictory, including that she wasn't fit for a relationship. She then cancelled our plans to celebrate New Year's Eve together with friends and chose to celebrate with other people while I stayed alone at home. I was devastated by the whole thing. I was torn between being mad at myself for letting this happen, and being mad at her for ruining our couple. I've had days where I was starting to accept how things were, only to cry myself to sleep and dream about what I lost. I also felt repulsive and ostracized as she was seemingly sleeping with multiple people yet rejected her ex-boyfriend of five years. We physically met for the last time on Valentine's Day for about two hours where we talked about our current status and thoughts. After that, we only talked via SMS and phone calls, where we agreed that I needed to work on myself and vowed to keep in touch. I told her I'd wait for her to message slash call me so I wouldn't disturb her. After she traveled back to her place, I managed to have a healthy schedule for a few days where I'd exercise, eat two healthy meals a day, study, etc. I failed to maintain that rhythm after losing motivation seeing my ex wasn't texting or calling me. Tonight, after rambling alone about my doubts and how shitty everything turned out, I decided to check out Teddy's Facebook profile. I couldn't manage to find it, which seemed strange to me. I then dug through my ex's Instagram photos where I found a link to Teddy's Instagram profile. However, I was instead sent to an error page which pretty much confirmed that he blocked me, even though we had never interacted together. Via an alt account, I then looked through his posts and stories. I recognized my ex's place in the background of several photos, but that was to be expected if they really were friends with benefits. However, a story dated from two weeks ago, around Valentine's Day, showed a picture of Teddy and my ex with the caption I present to you my gf. It seems my ex met Teddy after moving out, asked me to allow her to sleep with him one year ago, tried to get me to include him in our relationship, dumped me because I wouldn't, then tried to hide that they got together as soon as I seemed better. I guess I'm glad I can let go now, but all my memories about our couple are ruined. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.